everyone. Thanks so much for joining me. Stitching with Sue here. Wanted to do um, uh, a video showing you how you can edit on your embroidery machine. So if you're brand new here, welcome. Thanks so much for joining us. And if you are a returning subscriber, I really do appreciate you subscribing. Those of you that are not yet a subscriber, you're going to want to click on that red rectangle subscribe box. Next to that, you will see a bell. If you click on that bell, then you can ring the bell and then you will be notified when I upload new videos. So again, welcome everyone. And uh, I've been wanting to do this for a long time. I found, um, here comes Miss Dory. <laughs> I found a, um, a baby bib, a real cute baby bib on uh, Etsy and really inexpensive. I will put the name of the shop down below in the description. And I thought, oh my gosh, this is so cute. So let me show you what I did. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but I will put a picture of uh, the bib in, as the thumbnail. So do you see this cute little stitching going around there? And it's super cute. I put Delilah's name on, which is going to be in my new grandbaby that's coming at Christmas time. Here's the back. I put little cam snaps in the top so it could snap on and off now this is a small size so i would say this is for newborns um and you do need to have a large embroidery hoop i'm using my 8 by 12 my largest hoop that's possible on my brother essence ve 2300 embroidery machine but i want to show you how if you don't have software but yet you have editing capacity ca capabilities you can do it right on your machine. So um, if you notice here, it says Innovus, it says embroidery, and it says embroidery edit. Now, some of you may even have a third one that says sewing. So your machine embroiders and sews. Mine does not, it's embroidery only. So what you wanna do, if you wanna, oops, I'm sorry. If you wanna incorporate two designs together, maybe even three designs together, this is how quick and simple it could be. So you go ahead and you hit embroidery edit. Okay, now I have it saved on um, my USB stick, or you can save it to your to your um, embroidery machine. This is the uh, for USB, and then this is where you can transfer designs right from your computer onto your embroidery machine. It has you know, designs already built into it, depending on which model you have, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and click on for the USB stick. All right, so then I want to go down to find the uh, bib design. And you can see I have a lot of stuff on here. <laughs> so there it is right here. And um, it's because the pattern is too large to go across, you have to click on 90 degree angle and it will automatically turn it. So there's our bib design. So that is your basic bib design. If you don't wanna do anything else but the bib, then you go ahead and embroider it as you want. So now if we wanna add something to it, we wanna add a name onto this bib. This is the easy way of doing it. So first you have to go down here. I think you could see that. You have to set it. Okay, so we have our design is set. Now what we wanna do is we want to add to it. So down here, bottom left, see it says add. You're gonna click on add. It takes you back to the screen. And then you decide you wanna add a design um, already on your, on your, I keep wanting to say computer, on your embroidery machine. Do you want to add a design from your USB or did you want to transfer a design directly from your computer? So I'm, and then you also have these built-in designs. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use a built-in alphabet, like why not, right? So I'm gonna click on the alphabet and I really like this uh, script design. So I'm gonna click on ABC and then it brings up the alphabet in uppercase letters. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna add Delilah. So it's a capital D. Now I want a small, small letters, lowercase for the rest of the name. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on here and it's D-E-L-I-L-A-H. D-E-L-I-L-A-H. Something is wrong, so okay, so 
this is good that I did this. So it didn't catch the A. So what you want to do, go back here and hit delete. And then we're going to go A H. Okay, so there's our name. So what we want to do is we want to move that down. We want to fit that so that it's in the center. So I know there's probably another way I can do it, you know, with the little pen that comes with the machine. Really never learned how to do that, but this is just as easy. I want to set that first. So you're going to hit set. Okay, so now it's set. So now I want to move it. So I'm going to use these little arrow keys. Just going to move it down to where I feel that it is a great look. And there you have it. Now I'm thinking I may want to move over a little tad. And so if you kind of like that, you think that looks good, then all you're gonna do is you're gonna hit embroidery. And there's your design all ready to go. Now, if you decide, oh, that looks like it needs to go to the left or right or up and down, you still can do that. You just have to select. Now let me see if I know how to do this. Okay, so that's going to pick the bib. We want to select um, the inside of the bib. Now wait, I know I did it before. Hmm. We want to select, not the bib, we want the words in there. See, it's moving the bib. Oh, let's see, how did I do that now? Nope, that's the bib. Um, oh, I don't know what that did. Uh, hmm. Density, spacing. I want to go on to um, select. There we go. So I hit select. So you select um, either the bib or that. Now let me go back. Now how do I get back there? <laughs> All right, here we go. Select. So I want to select. There we go. So now you can go back in and you can still move it wherever you want it to go. And if you think, yep, that looks good, then you're gonna hit embroidery. So you have to select which item you want. You see how all those boxes around the name? That's selecting that one. If I wanted to select the bib, I would go down here and select, I don't know why that's not picking it. All right, well, uh, I guess I need to work a little more on this. So let's see. Oh, it's clicking on these things. I see what it's doing. Spacing, you could do multicolors. Oops, sorry. You can rotate, you can mirror image. But if I hit embroidery, there we go. So we're back to the actual screen. So then all you wanna do is, um, go ahead and load your hoop and um, for this design what it does is it stitches out the um, actual image on your uh, embroidery hoop for the position then you put some batting now this one when i did it i only did one layer of batting and i really think i need a little bit more thickness to it so then what it will do is it will take you through the steps so let's go through the steps I don't know what the heck I did to it. Return. Um, all right, let's go through the steps. Okay, so here we go. All right, so the first step, this is your outline. It's gonna show you up here in this little box. It's gonna show you where your placement's gonna be. And then you would stitch that. And then the next area it's going to take you to you'll put down your batting and your fabric we'll put down your batting first this this is let me recommend that put your batting down stitch it around then you want to use your scissors and cut around your batting okay you want to remove all the excess then after you do it the next step it's going to take you to is already this but we don't want that you want to go back 
to and do this again put your fabric down after you trimmed your batting put your fabric down and then let it stitch around and then when it's done with that so you're doing gonna do this two times one with the batting down now if you think that you're um, okay with not needing a placement stitch you can just go ahead and get your hoop ready put your batting in and do your first stitch and then the next stitch will be when you put your fabric down and do the other stitch so it just depends on what you feel comfortable doing I'm more comfortable with stitching it twice so that first I know placement I stitch batting I go back and restitch with the fabric attached and stitch that same one okay so the next one is going to be this outline which is really cute it's it's this cute little almost like a little starburst going all around the bib oh my gosh I keep hitting the thing here and then um, the next step is going to be you're going to take your um, fabric and you're going to go um, right sides together and stitch around so that's going to be it then and that will take you to this area Oh no, you actually want to do that first. Okay, the steps are a little goofed up in this. All right, so let's go back. Let's. I'm gonna go and do um, a video to show you how to stitch this out, but you want to put the name on before you put the backing. Okay, FYI. So you're gonna to have to play around with going back and forth, but you can do it. It's very easy to do. With these little spools, the plus and minus, it will either take you back to the stitch around so after you do that the next thing it's going to take you to is this but we don't want to do that we want to go and we want to um, put the name on then we're going to put the backing on and stitch around the final thing okay so I hope that makes sense um, the other thing that I that you can do is you can just um, so let's go home go home and delete it okay so if you go into embroidery and you just choose no we didn't do into the ad thing we just did embroidery let me go down to the bib you don't actually have to put anything on the bib so there's the bib okay so it's going to tell you, you have to go 90 degrees to fit go ahead and stitch your bib out do your outline do your batting put your fabric down then you can go out of this program and go into the name and add the name there then go back into the program and fast forward through those few steps just to put the backing on that you can do as well but I think the first one is a lot easier so I hope I haven't confused you when I'm done with this I'm gonna go ahead and um, and this looks like maybe it moved from me hitting it. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stitch out the bib to show you how it's actually done. But this is a way that you can actually do editing right on your embroidered machine, depending on which machine you have. Um, the basic ones, you know, you can do some type of editing. Even when I had the little 4x4 four four hoop, you still could do editing on the screen. So definitely if you have a color screen, it makes it a little easier. But I hope that's helpful. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for joining me. I'm going to go ahead and get all this ready. I'll end this video and I will go ahead and make a second video to show you exactly how this bib stitches out. But this is a very quick stitch. You can whip up a ton of these in one weekend because it's only, what is it? Eight, nine, 10, 11, 11 um, minutes and then you know add on if you wanted to add the personalization or you wanted to put an image on that you could do an applique you could do so many things to personalize this bib so anyhow thanks so much for joining me and be sure to come back so uh, you can see how the bib is actually stitched out and how fun and we'll have a little chat while it's doing that all right everyone thank you for joining me be sure to click the subscribe button and the notification bell then you will be notified when I upload new videos. And by you subscribing and thumbs up and leaving me comments, that helps with the algorithm with YouTube so that, that they present my videos to more and more people to come join the Stitch and Fun. So have a good day and I'll be back real soon to uh, stitch out this fun bib pattern. So till then, happy stitching. Bye for now.